Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dee Dee. If this is your first time tuning in, go ahead and click that subscribe button for all my return subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, y'all. So today's video is going to be a first impressions video over the Camille Rose Naturals products. I've never used any of their products before. Um, I wanted to get stuff from like they were in the same collection, but it didn't end up happening like that because these are some products that they gifted to me. But um, hold on, y'all. Where does oh here we go. So the first one is the Camille Rose Clean Rinse Moisturizing and Clarifying Shampoo. And it says that um, it has honey and peppermint in it. So this is what it looks like. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, so the smell. So it has a minty smell, but it's not a strong minty smell. I'm trying to think. I have used a uh, shampoo from Eden Body Works that was like a peppermint shampoo and as soon as you open it you could really smell it and you could feel it tingling in your scalp. Um, I thought this was going to have like a stronger peppermint but maybe since it has honey in it the honey is kind of keeping the, the smell from being so fragrant. Now I washed my hair off camera as you can see it's used I didn't use a whole lot of the shampoo but the plus is about the shampoo. Um, so the first one I would say would be the lather. I like shampoos that lather. I ain't one of those people that don't have time for lather and all that. I, I'm old school. I feel like if my hair is not lathering up when I'm washing it, then the shampoo is not doing anything and my hair and my scalp is not getting clean. So it did have a good lather. Also, since it says that it is a moisturizing and clarifying shampoo, most of the time, clarifying shampoos, y'all know this, clarifying shampoos make your hair dry. Like, it will dry your hair out, and you have to add the moisture back with, like, um, a thicker conditioner or, like, a really creamy moisturizing conditioner. So, when I was putting this in my hand, I was like, okay, here we go. I was trying to think of the products I was going to use afterwards because um, I assumed it was going to be dry, but it wasn't. It was not dry. I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I don't mind using Clarify shampoos when I have a lot of buildup in my scalp, but it is kind of annoying sometimes when it does make your hair really dry. So the fact that I felt like my hair was getting dry, I felt like it got it clean, but it kept the moisture in my scalp as well. And so I really do like this shampoo and I will be using this shampoo again. So I ain't had no problems with the shampoo. Okay, so the next product I'm going to try that I have not tried yet, it says that it is the Camille Rose Naturals. Curlade Moisture Butter with Green Tea and Jojoba. And this is what it looks like. Okay, di di the uh, directions say great on, got great on dry hair but can be used while hair is wet. Used to seal in moisture on ends and finger to tangle um, dry hair. Okay, let's see. I was trying to see if it was any ingredients for y'all. Um, oh, it's a whole bunch of ingredients. Sorry, child, I ain't gonna go over all the ingredients. But um, anyway, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so let me take this off. Okay, so the smell is, it kind of smells like marshmallow to me. Let y'all see what it look like. So you see how creamy, it's really thick. Look, I gotta really stick my finger in there to get that out. So the consistency is thick. Um, and it seems like it's not, it's not oily, so it's thick, but not oily. And so I'm going to do a twist out on my hair and I'm going to use, I'm going to put this on it, but, um, and I need something thicker on my hair. So we're going to see how this works. Um, but yeah, like I said, I can't really describe like the, the after, like how it feels. It's, it's not oily. It almost feels, I don't know. I don't know, I just know that it is dense and it is thick. And like I said, it smells like marshmallow. So I'm gonna use this today. And then the other product is the Camille Rose Honey Hydrate, part of the leave-in collection. And girl, wow, this looks just like honey. Look at that. Child, I ain't trying to have nothing sticky. Okay, let's see what it says. It says golden honey base condition to provide maximum hydration. Okay, Camille Rose Natural Rose. It says use as a leave-in on freshly conditioned hair, which I have, then style as directed. Now these ingredients I can pronounce. It says honey, ol honey, olive fruit oil, castor oil, um, aloe leaf juice, sugar cane, sugar maple, sweet orange fruit, lemon fruit extract, 
caramel or caramel, however you pronounce it. And then a warning says avoid contact with eyes. Okay, so I think I want to open this. Can y'all see? Yeah, this looks just like honey. <laughs> he lordy. Okay, so I'm gonna open the top. Okay. The smell is giving me like a very sweet, almost like, um, girl, let me see. It's just a sweet smell. It could smell like a sweet candy. It could smell like honey, really. I mean, to me, yeah, it smells like honey. I don't know. You know what? Let me put this back on here. I just, I'm just getting nervous because I don't want it to be sticky, but maybe I should. Let me see. Put some in my hand. Okay, that feels thick. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's not. Okay, can y'all see that? You know, I thought it was going to be like really, really thick. But it's not. Um, oh, Lord, I'm here. It's not thick like I thought it was going to be. So that's a good thing. So I think what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to, instead of using my... Um, my olive oil on my twist. I'm gonna use this first, which was the curl made. Is that it? Oh, Lord, I say curl made. It's curl aid, like Kool Aid. So I'm gonna do the curl aid, and then I'm gonna do the the honey leave in on top of that. But yeah, I am definitely surprised. I thought it was gonna be real thick, and I'm like, Lord, I'm just gonna go here. But it's not. It looks that way in the bottle, and maybe the name because it looks just like honey. But um, it has more of like a. Um, how this one I said was like very dense and it didn't feel oily at all. You can tell that there is actual, actually like some type of oil in the honey. So let me just go ahead and store a section of my hair so we can get these twists, girl. Now, maybe I put too much of the curl aid because it was pretty, um, girl, it was pretty creamy when I was twisting and I almost kind of like lost my grip, but I'd rather it be like too moisturized than not moisturized enough. But I think what I'm going to do moving forward is instead of putting this on like, um, in the beginning, I'm gonna like start my twist. No, I'm not gonna do that. If I have to, like this one, since it's at the front, I braided, like, well, plaited. I started it with, a, I started it with a plait, and then I started twisting. And I felt like it was hard for me to grip it because I had all the product on it. So if I decide to plait any of the other ones in the front before I twist, then I'm gonna plait first and then put the product on. Cause girl, my hands are slippery, slippery, slippery. But I'm gonna just keep on going with this and see how it turns out.
okay y'all so so far I've done the front and this is what they look like um when I first did this side you know like I put a lot of the um curlade on it so it was white kind of like left some white stuff on it like on this side but the reason why you still well you can't see it that bad if you can see when I was twisting like this one you know the product is still fresh so that's why it's still white but once it dries it's gonna dry like it did on this side once it's soak in but I really like it um I think that this honey hydrate adds like a shine to the twist and then I just laid my edges down so the ones in the back I'm not gonna do as many as in the back but um I plan on wearing this at least for like almost a week before I take them down so I just wanted the ones in the front to be easy like if I wanted to wear it you know like in a ponytail or something like that going to the back so let me just go ahead and finish the back Is the finished product if y'all can see they look nice and juicy this is the back so my twists feel very um moisturized and so just to go over the products again i tried the um shampoo the moisturizing and clarifying shampoo i liked i'm gonna show y'all again I liked the shampoo. It didn't have that tingle in the scalp that I, you know, do prefer because I feel like when I have like a tingle in the scalp, it makes me feel like my hair is getting clean. It didn't have that, but I still felt like my hair was clean. It's a clarifying shampoo and it did not dry my hair out at all. And it did have a very good lather. So I liked the shampoo. And then and these were the other two that um, y'all saw in the video, the Curlade, the Moisture Curlade Moisture Butter, and the honey hydrate so these are my twists um i would like to leave them in for a week if i take them down before that then um then i'll let y'all know but yeah so i'm loving the way that they feel usually if i don't like the consistency of a product i won't even put it on my hair um but since i was cool with those two i went ahead and used it so yeah if y'all have used these products before then let me know i haven't decided if i'm going to take the twist down and then tell y'all what it felt like afterwards or just um like maybe pin it in the comment section whenever i post this video y'all watching the video i appreciate y'all supporting my channel if you have any other videos that you want me to do leave it in the comment section below and as always until next time see you guys later bye